Water Physical Analysis Introduction Water is one of the abundantly available substances in nature. It contributes about 75% of the matter of Earth's crust. It is distributed in nature in various forms such as spring water, river water, rain water etc. Among these, the purest form of water is rain water. Its chemical formula is H2O. It exists in gaseous, liquid, and solid states. It has the unique ability to support to every kind of life as well as to dissolve variety of substances. So, it is regarded as universal solvent. Thus, it may contain variety of substances either in the form solution or suspensions which can distort the scientific analytical data. Most of these contaminates have the potential to affect the not only the number of scientific applications but also create a variety of problems in living as well as non-living systems i.e., it affects the quality of water. So, to decide quality of water, water analysis is essential parameter of water analysis are commonly expressed in milligram per liter, part per million, ppm, etc. where ppm means the number of parts of substance per million parts of water. This unit is also called milligram per liter, mg slash liter, or grams per cubic meter. Water analysis includes physical analysis and chemical analysis. Physical analysis Physical analysis of water includes the measurement of physical characteristics of water such as pH, conductance, color, odor, turbidity, and taste. 1. Hydrogen ion concentration, pH, pH measures the power or potence or activity of hydrogen ion. It was proposed by Sorensen in 1909. It may be defined as, pH equals, log 10 H plus. It is useful in calculation of acidity, alkalinity, corrosion control, coagulation, and disinfection. pH of solution can be determined colorimetrically, electrometrically. In electrometric determination of pH of solution involves the determination of EMF of cell. It is also measured by pH meter. Here variation is K0.005 pH unit. But standardization is essential. It can be done by using suitable buffer solutions. Interpretation of results. A. If pH greater than 8, water contains carbonates. Here bicarbonate may be present or absent. B. If pH of water between 4.5 to 8, water sample will contain carbonic acid and bicarbonates, but no carbonates. C. If pH less than 4.5, water contains carbonic acid but not bicarbonates and carbonates. D. pH range of drinking water 7.0 to 8.5. E. pH in connection with total alkalinity, salinity, and temperature used to decide whether water has scale forming tendency, corrosive nature etc. F. pH is important for coagulation. Example Al2, so 4, is effective at pH 6.7. 2. Conductance. It measures capacity of water to conduct the electricity. It is expressed in millimoles and micromoles or millisiemens. It depends on temperature and proportional to dissolved salts in water. As determination of electrical conductance is rapid, the quantity of dissolved salts in given water sample can be determined. Its determination is useful to check purity of distilled water, steam purity in power industry and also in industrial applications of water. Here note that distilled water having conductivity greater than 2 should not be used for water analysis. Method Standardize conductometer using 0.01 mkCl solution 1.413 mo slash cm. Take the sample in a beaker. Determine its conductance by taking usual precautions. 3. Color. Color of the pure water is pale green. But in the large quantities it has blue tint. 
True color of the water may be due to certain minerals, fine particles, colloids, Fe, Cu, Cr, Mn, Ni, Co, industrial effluents, tannins, peat, algae, humus, weeds, protozoa etc. Example 1, yellow color may be because of Cr or appreciable amount of organic matter. 2, yellowish red color due to presence of iron. 3, reddish brown color is indicated by the presence of PD matter. Method, there are two methods. 1, platinum cobalt method. 2, farallule color scale method. Out of that second method is qualitative. So color of the sample is generally determined by platinum cobalt method. Platinum cobalt method. Standard solution of platinum cobalt is prepared by 1 gram of crystalline cobaltous chloride and 1.245 grams of potassium chloroplatinate in small quantity of distilled water. Add 100 cubic centimeters of cone. HCl and dilute to 1 liter. Prepare standard solution series by taking 0.5, 1.0, 1 1.5 of above solution and finally dilute each to 50 cubic centimeters in Nessler tube. These solutions have color values 5, 10, 15 etc. Respectively compare the color of water sample with the series and determine color value noted on Nessler tubes. Comparison of color can be done with help of tintometer. 4. Odor. Odor is one of the measures of water pollution. Disagreeable odor of water is due to decay in vegetations and presence of microscopic organisms. Example. 1. Sewage and industrial effluents may have offensive odor. 2. Fishy odor is may be due to protozoa Dean 3. Moldy, moldy, odor is maybe because of algae, oscillatoria, rivularia, and algae anabena sniff strong grassy odor. 4. Earthen material present in water gives faint earthy odor. 5. It is also due to dissolved gases such as CH4, H2S etc. The odor is divided into cold odor quality and hot odor quality. When 250 cubic centimeters sample is taken in 500 cubic centimeters flask and sniff the odor. It is cold odor quality at room temp. Put 250 cubic centimeters in 500 cubic centimeters stoppered conical flask and heat to 58-600 C. Sniff the odor which is called hot odor quality. Odor may be of different nature. Example earthy. Fishy, aromatic, chlorinous, peaty, grassy, wormy, moldy etc. The intensity of odor is expressed in threshold odor number, ton, and it depends upon temperature, pH of water. Illumination of odor can be done by the use of ozone, chlorine, activated carbon, aeration. Ton is determined by this equation. Threshold odor number is equal to, A plus B, divide by A. Where A equals volume of sample. B volume of pure water added to eliminate odor. The elimination of odor can be achieved by the chlorination, aeration, addition of ozone, activated charcoal etc. 5. Turbidity. Turbidity in water is due to fine suspended particles, such as finely divided organic and inorganic substances, silt, clay, plankton, microorganisms etc. Greater is the turbidity, stronger will be effluent or sewage larger will be the degree of pollution. It may be measured by nephilometrically or absorptiometrically. There are several ways. Few are given below. A. Turbidity may be measured by using turbidity rod. Here rod is dipped in the testing water and depth at which the wire disappears is recorded. This reading is nothing but turbidity of water in ppm. B. Turbidity may be measured by using Jackson's turbidimeter. 
Jackson's turbidimeter consists of metal container placed on a metal stand. Metal container consists of graduated glass tube. Below the stand standard candle is placed. Water is added into the glass tube still the flame cannot be observed from top. This depth of water gives its turbidity in ppm. The turbidity of municipal water supply must be less than 10 ppm. The standard unit of turbidity is obtained by dissolving 1 ppm silica in the form of fuller's earth or bentonite or diatomaceous earth in distilled water. Taste, there are several factors responsible for taste. Example excess of NaHCO3 gives inky or soapy taste to water. So 4 gives faint bitter taste, unusual salt content gives brackish taste, dissolved minerals, gases, carbonic acids, nitrates etc. make water palatable. Objectionable tastes and odor of water can be removed by filtering the raw water through filter bed containing activated charcoal. Here responsible gradients are adsorbed on the surface of charcoal. Odor and taste of the water due to chlorine can be eliminated by this reaction. Trade names of activated charcoal are Nutcher, Darko. It is available in granular and powdered form. Advantages of this method. It removes organic matter, phenol, Cl2, H2S, Mn, Fe, etc. Its overdose is harmless. To eliminate color, odor, and taste aeration method is also effective. 